All right, welcome back. If you're just waking up, happy 2015. And if you're just uh, enjoying your day, again, happy 2015, guys. It's our first cast of the new year, and we're in the losers match for the Halo Koreans tournament. I'm Rifkin, casting today with James, aka Mal, and spawning the bottom left corner of the map. Just got sent here by Sulky. It's going to be the blue Zerg player, CM Storm's Revival. Or Color Me Revival. <laughs> color, color Me Red. <laughs> I'm actually spawning as a red Zerg. It's my insanity, Sax 3. I kind of wish they swapped colors because blue matches better with my insanity and red matches better with CM Storm. But yeah, uh, like cheese also matches pretty well with revival. Oh, no! <laughs> Goes for that 10 pool. Yes. Was it 10 pool? No, oh, actually, no, I think it was 9 pool. Yeah, yeah, it was you're right. 9 pool. So, uh, this is. Do you think he goes for the Bailings? I mean, he's been hit by Bailings so many times today. Do you think he decides to turn it around? No, I, 9 pool is just. Uh... An early aggression with six to eight lanes just to cancel the um, the hatchery. Yeah, there's the extractor trick. Okay, yeah. so if he does go for the hatchery cancel, though, I mean, Soxry is kind of, yeah, going to go hatchery first. It's going to maybe accomplish his goal. The nice thing about this, though, is you do have the potential of actually ignoring the hatchery and going for some drone kills, but it's usually not how you want to use this pool. Uh, and sometimes, in best case scenarios for revival, you actually have drones pulled off the main to come defend the hatchery, and then you get kills and the hatchery. <laughs> Yeah, that would be the best scenario. There we go with the links. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Sox is actually see this. This might hit if he just hugs that wall. Maybe, 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 maybe. Doesn't even try. No, it, no, it doesn't. He doesn't <laughs> care. Uh, I thought you could go south and around if you really wanted to, but I guess that does screw with your timing, and that's one of the biggest strengths when going. Uh, for that all comes down to to Saxby, right? The pool's late. He's taking the gas too. Yeah. Uh, will he try to save the hatchery or just throw it away? If it was 10 pull, he would have just let it be. And he may have potential to save it with the uh, with the pull completing in time. But this is 9 pull. It comes a lot quicker than 10 pull. And I think one of the biggest scary things is like he, he's, he can let this go as far as possible and then cancel, buy himself as much time to get that spawning pool up. But even then, there's not going to be links out in time. He's actually gonna let this finish yeah he's gonna let it finish and utilize that one extra larva to to fend this off well that and uh, i guess maybe some broodling shots might help if we can get them a uh, couple of hits on the wings broodlings well, are such a dumb mechanic like i don't understand why yeah <laughs> it's not looking good for saxory it's difficult i mean i think it was smart to um like let go of the hatchery but utilize that one one more larva yeah eight and twelve uh, as far as the link count goes the drones on My hold position surround yeah. Oh, he, That's really I cool. Not only did he spread, he also like held like he held position on a couple of those drones specifically so they wouldn't attack. And uh, those links were just kind of floundering on the right side. So Sox returns that into an incredible defense and so goes for now a counterattack. But keep in mind, Revival already kind of got his goal for this. Not only did he deny the natural base, he got a kill on it too. So coming back home, you know, he's, he's not so far behind. He's got a four drone lead and he doesn't have a natural either. I think with a queen nestled between that spawning pool and uh, some links out to defend it, he should be okay. This sh I don't think Soxry's getting in the game right here. But they both have metabolic boosts on the way, and a Bailing Nestor Soxry could be that little bit of an edge that he needs to really shut Revival down. Revival should sense. He's got the Overlord um, sitting above that uh, little edge ramp. Probably knows that there is something coming. Like, and killing off links? all the links is definitely... It's a bonus. Yeah, fighting on that ramp was a pretty big deal. We don't actually see that come into effect too often, but it does Whoa, make sure that you're fighting the best. Yeah, that turnaround on that leg, he's like, yum, yum. Uh, okay, so Revival holds on. He's got his own Bailiness on the way. It, they both go for the hatcheries. This is two fantastic players who are playing very similar to one another, is uh, what we're getting to watch, quite frankly. It's <laughs> interesting. Sneaks in a couple of Bailings. We'll see if Revival sees this. If he does, he can pounce on it with the Lings. Yeah. You will now, though. No? No, he's not paying Should attention. Not? Looking elsewhere towards the main, perhaps. I don't uh, think he saw it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, that was oh. like one for like six. That was a pretty good trade. Oh. That one, not so much. <laughs> you okay there, funny? Call <laughs> 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 like, funny. It's like, it's like, oh, no. Like, long after it's dead. Like, you, just, you need some time to grieve. Poor well, no, like there was, a, there was another painting and everything. I think um, Saxony could have 
invested too much trying to go up the ramp and lost a lot of links. That's yeah. what what it's ended up costing him because he has a lot of gas to work with. And even though you know time has passed, but he he already had a lot of more gas to to make more pain links. He just didn't have enough links to more pain links into. That also, yeah, that's always a problem too, especially when you get caught off guard trying to do what the revival was doing here. You know, you basically sacrifice four links to make the bailings. If you can't keep your own bailings alive while they're morphing, then <laughs> it's no good. Falling back at home, he does have a spine crawler coming up, so worried about a small counterattack potential. But, I mean, a spine crawler is not really anti ling so much as an anti bane ling mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh. That was close. Yeah, trying to chip one of these off. He doesn't see them coming at the watchtower. Kind of funny, but uh, this spine card looks like it will complete just in the next time for this. Uh, gonna have to defend it though while it finishes. <gasps> oh. Oh. One bailing is going to get focus fired. Nicely done. Now these links heading towards the main. Actually, gonna get a couple of drone kills at best, but for the most part, with the queen here and a couple of bailings rolling in, this should not be too hard for revival to clean up. Well, unless, unless that happens. A little bit easier than yeah. we anticipated. One ling or two. Is that be worth it? So many of these are almost dead. Uh, even wasted the baneling there on one of the... Uh, really nice. Two banelings get wasted to Oops. clean this up. Uh, but since it's not really that reliant on more banelings, I think this is okay. Both players got their layers started, uh, looks like. And also, in the meantime, uh, during all the harassment, Taxiri droned up quite heavy. Like He was behind a lot in terms of the drone count. But um, now, now he's ahead by five. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> for the first game. I'm really pleased with how back and forth this has been, and not some sort of just weird all in that ended quickly. But uh, for revival's sake, I mean, he's he's playing really defensive. He's got the the sort of wall coming up. He, I definitely think he's a little bit paranoid of Saxby continuing with an attack. But these two links are a big scout because this will reveal that he's also going for a layer that he doesn't have to worry about this aggression for a time. I mean, if you get up through those legs and you scout like 14, 15 zerglings, okay, yeah, you play a little bit scared, but uh, seeing that there's almost nothing in play in three banelings, this is pretty good for Revival to just comfortably get to Roaches. And mm -hmm. as we saw versus Sulky, I mean, Revival on Roaches is not a bad player. Not not by a long stretch. Nope. With Lair finishing at the same time, Saxory looks on to take his third, and Spire just starts from Saxory. I eh. yeah we already saw revival struggle a little bit against Spire when he's fighting in Sulky, but we'll see if the follow up is nearly as deadly because I don't really think Soxby's that much of a swarm host player <laughs> compared the to the difference uh, here right now is that Sulky went for two base Spire versus three base and then Spire right so um, I'm not I'm actually not quite liking Saxby's choice right now because. Well, I guess there's no way. I guess there's no way Revival can see that there's a Spire tech on the way. But these Roaches can immediately just go to the third. The third will be cancelled, and I, that that's that's gonna be huge. I agree that that could be a problem. But at the same time, to go for a Spire, that investment isn't necessarily in the Mutalisks per se for their damage, but more for their map control. I mean, you can use it the same way Sulky did, where you only go for it like six or eight, and you just use it to clear up Overlords, get a bit of control on the map, and harass if you can. Because if you blind somebody like Revival, I mean, that's it's not going to be fun fighting with Roaches and Hydras if you don't know where it's safe to go. Uh, but, yeah, one thing we didn't really cover at all today, because I have been pretty bad at this, is the betting pools for this matchup. Uh, we have about 12,000 Partoofs bet on Soxtree and a little under 11,000 on Revival, so a uh, surprisingly close matchup in the eye of the fans. With their, <laughs> their very valuable partoofs, James. <laughs> I need to figure out how that works. I still haven't, I still haven't been able to figure that out. Well, fun fact, just while we're for the mutas come in, if you guys are just sitting here watching the channel, you earn one partoof every five minutes, twice if, as much if you're a sub. And uh, you use those partoofs to gamble and have some fun. You can put them in bank heists or bet on matches and then cash them in later for raffle tickets for uh, awesome prizes. We still have a poster, actually. We gave away one already. Ooh, big attack. I mean, it was third. Um, James actually helped us get a lot of these signatures with Flash and uh, Tasia and J-Dog and everyone over at IEM Toronto. So we have this really nice bit of StarCraft 2 artwork with a lot of signatures. And uh, that'll be raffled off at some point in the near future. So that's one thing to keep your more tubes for. Ooh. Sounds nice. Yeah. Are there any uh, spork? No, there's, there's some spores. There's... Uh-oh. But this, this, this might not be... This pretty much just triggers 
survival yeah, it, to go go all out. Yeah, it's the trigger for the attack. It's not that problematic though because if you know, the 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 Hydra's count is actually maybe perhaps a little bit lacking. The Mutos might be able to dive into these one at a time. Uh, especially with a couple of Banelings mixed in that are coming out of Soxry. The Roaches are quite scary, of course, but they're not going to be able to guard for the Hydralis perfectly. Oh, a lot of oh, oh that Banelings connect right Banelings in the butt, the yeah! All the Hydras get taken out. Now the Mutalists can clean up the Roaches. It's one of those eventually things, but they will clean up the Roaches. This sort of Sim City blocking out the ramp's going to help out a ton, delaying wow, them going for the main. Split. The uh, split by Revival was just absolutely Yeah, but here perfect. comes the Spines. Here comes the Spines, picking off these Roaches with the can. It's only one or two shots each, but it's just enough of the Mutalists. A couple of legs coming in. This absolutely shuts Revival's attack oh. down. But, at the same time, for Revival, this was... It's a big sacrifice of his army, but it was to keep the Mutalist from harassing him at home, where he had no defense. He had no spore callers and no Hydralists to really speak of. Now he can consider putting these down, or he might not go... Actually, he's not putting any spores down still. So it looks like he might just be looking to bank on the Hydralists to uh, hold him against the Mutalists. Ooh, possibly tearing down the Third of Soxry. Spread will, the I mean, there, there, there's no There's no escape route for, yeah. for these roaches anyway. Alright, so third base from Sox does fall. Worker count down to 38. Doesn't have a lot of money to continue with the Mutalisks, but at the same time, a CM Storm Revival, he doesn't have a lot of Hydralisks to deal with the Mutalisks either. Like, this number is not that high. Uh, what is this, like 12 for 17? There we go. It, but it's still at a point where Revival can't shoot them down. The Mutalisks can actually beat the Hydralisks in a head-on engagement when there's only like 5 or 7 at a time. That's really interesting, and... We can see that Revival was struggling to, to defend and maybe his early attack was uh, just too much dedication because his upgrade stopped after one. Like his weapons one upgrade, range one upgrade uh, finished really early and it just never moved. Say in a normal situation that these Hydras would have two weapons upgrade and would be able to take on the Mutas. But also on the other hand, Saxby did a great job on making more Mutas than we typically see. Like, that count of Muta count is only seen when it's Muta versus Muta. This is really hurting that he doesn't have that perfect creep spread and he doesn't have uh, the Hydra speed, so they are a little bit slow coming across the map. Muscular Augment's uh, not quite available. Oh, no, 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 Hydra's. Get back there! Now, what does Saxer have to defend against this? Uh, a bit of Bailings, I see. I think the Lots Bailings will do it. I think the Bailings will do it if they connect to the Hydras. He's running away with the Hydras. He knows this is coming, but no muscular augment speeds off of Creep. He might just be in reach, but there's no Bailing speed either. So he splits like a Terran. It's a slow-mo fight inside of a Time Warp. And he's going to keep the Hydralisks alive. But I don't know that this is enough to deal with the Mutalisks. And I think Soxery knows this as well, so he's closing in. He's going to pick them off one or two at a time on the retreat. And oh, that Glaive Worm gets a double kill. Attack. May as well. I mean, yeah, you're gonna lose him anyways. Oh my god, that split fight though, that was like. <laughs> that was insane! <laughs> it, it, sh it doesn't seem like it should be, but it really was. You know, it's off of creep. Both players have got such volatile units, but uh, at the end of the day, that, you know. Like that, that oh. split sh shouldn't even have happened. I know, this like, like, should not be allowed. <laughs> Revival's been practicing his Terran. <laughs> Right, well, there are spore cars at home. Finally, this is taking a long time to get up. Spore cars are just so good at beating back the mutalisks, but I, it's still a situation where I don't think Revival's ever had more than twenty hydralisks at a time. If he did, yo, he would have a lot easier time fighting. Uh, you mentioned earlier the lack of plus one upgrades. He finally gets that range upgrade on the hydralisks, but range or not, if you don't have numbers, there's no way to fight these mutalisks. Ja. Both players uh, did lose their thirds, of course, throughout all of this, but both of them also have it coming back up. I think Revival's in a very difficult position. I agree. Uh, if he was Another, that, he's, just, he's never really been able to concretely take on these Mutalisks. Even the oh, spawning pole going down, that's just dirty. He was so ahead. I felt like what really ended the uh, the nine pole train was that the um, just the awesome, awesome um, drone drone wall off. Yeah, that was actually probably the coolest drone. part of this, this I think whole that's game. what really killed it. Because otherwise, Revival was constantly making more drones. I originally thought it was just going to be... The nation oh! And, oh no, so many drones just get cleared out of the natural. I mean, this is... Shit at the moment. Yeah, 
GG is gonna be called. Socks, you'll think that game one, that was game one, guys. What the hell? That was game one in an awesome series uh, here in the losers match. So fighting for his life, Socks is.